Again, note that during all bench press variations, we must have our scapula retracted and held that way throughout the movement. This is to help prevent shoulder injury. Also note, in the bottom position, your humerus should be at about a 45 degree angle to your trunk, with your forearms vertical to the weight. And with dumbbells, I find it most comfortable to have my wrists at a 45 degree angle in the bottom position, so halfway between a pronated grip and a hammer grip. But if you find another grip angle preferable and more comfortable, I'd encourage you to use that. Place your dumbbells between your legs. Sit on the bench and, with a neutral back, lift one dumbbell onto each knee. From here, kick the dumbbells up as you lie back on the bench. Note that your three points of contact with the bench and ground should be your feet, locked in a secure position, your pelvis, and your retracted scapula. There should be separation between your lumbar spine and the bench. However, this should be as a result of you correctly retracting your scapula not as a result of a huge effort by you to emphasize it. Bring the weights to a balanced position above your chest. They shouldn't feel unbalanced forward or backwards. From here, take a deep breath as you bring the weights down in a controlled fashion until you feel a stretch across your pecs. This is the bottom position described in step one, or depending on your flexibility, it may be a little past it. Pause for a second before pushing from your chest and returning the weights to that balanced starting position. Blast your air out as you hit the top of the movement. Be sure not to bring your shoulders forward with the weights. Only go so far as your contracted scapula allows.